Hi, I'm April Golightly, and today I'm so excited to share with you some big boob hacks. I've always had a big chest. Even when I was super thin, I was like a 32D, 34C. Um, I realized that I really wasn't a 34C, I was really a 32D. And now I'm a 36, 38, double D, triple D, depending. I'm excited to share with you all of my tips because being big chested is exhausting. And it's it's a tough thing. It's tough because it's you're very sexualized because of your breasts. and. I'm just giving tips on how to make you look better. I'm excited <laughs> to share with you all of this. Let's get started. I would say the biggest offender is ill-fitting bras. For example, the bra that I'm wearing right now is just a little too tight on me and my breasts are popping out the top. So, and it looks just so not good. It's super unattractive and just find bras that fit you and find bras that don't have padding in them. Like we don't need bras with padding if you have big boobs. Like that's unnecessary. Find boobs that just have, or boobs, find bras that just have like lining like this or just completely like sheerness to them. You don't need any padding. I actually did an awesome video on the best bras for big busted women. Check it out here. Turtlenecks are literally the bane of my existence. They just kind of make my boobs look like a uniboob. And so I highly recommend like avoiding them if you have large breasts. I mean, I love this dress, but, and I love this look, but at the end of the day, I can say that I made a mistake and that this is not the vibe. And the uniboob situation is just not for me. When you have big boobs, you think it's better to cover them up. And sometimes at the end of the day, you end up making them look bigger by covering them. So that's exactly what happened here. And even though I think the dress is awesome, it's just not good for having a big chest. The next thing I wanna talk about are crew necks. And I kind of like boat necks a little bit. And it's just, I don't know. Basically, it's the same situation with the turtleneck. It's just too much coverage. And by putting so much coverage on your boobs, you're basically making them look bigger. The necklines, like lower necklines, actually open up your chest area, making them look smaller than they are. I think you can actually salvage wearing and actually wear crew neck tops if you're wearing like a necklace, like I am here. That's like the only way that I'm able to wear crew neck tops is with like some sort of necklace to break up the line. So in theory, this top would be awesome because it's a lower neckline, but because there's a huge print on it and also the fact that it's covering up the arms and kind of just looks like just way too much. And it just makes you look, you look bigger, your breasts look bigger. It's just no good. And you know, these hops are everywhere. It just doesn't work for big breasted women. During the pandemic, I actually cut my hair pretty short and I realized that having like tons of hair actually kind of makes you look larger than you are. It makes your boobs look bigger than they are and kind of adds weight to you. So uh, I know like big hair is like totally a thing and like long hair is awesome, but it definitely adds weight. So. It looks great, but like I said, if you're looking for something to kind of like minimize your figure, then like maybe cutting a crop hairstyle or putting your hair up will slim you out a little bit more. Another item to avoid is something that's double breasted. So you really want to look for something that's single breasted if you are, if you have big boobs. Basically the double breasted blazers or coats just add a ton of bulk and like those buttons just add like interest and it makes you look bigger than you are. It's just, it's just not, it kind of like, it's almost, I don't know. I feel like it almost looks like I have nipples there. Um, so totally, I love this blazer, but now looking back on it, I feel like it didn't me, it didn't do me justice. And I feel like a single breasted blazer would have been a better choice. I'm super guilty of this one, spaghetti straps. They are the worst because you just can't wear, like, as you can see, you can see my bra because I'm wearing spaghetti straps. It just happens. There's ways to hide it though, so I wanna talk to you guys about that because I live in Florida and I need to be able to wear spaghetti straps. 
So when I had longer hair, I would throw the hair over the spaghetti straps and then I would also wear maybe a pashmina on top of them. You can also wear a jacket with them. But the problem is that eventually you're gonna see the spaghetti straps if you take the jacket off. So you have to like make the choice that you're not gonna take the jacket off or you can wear it with a strapless bra. That's really the answer. And if you haven't already subscribed, you definitely should because we do all kinds of fun things on uh, what to wear if you have big breasts. So <laughs> definitely subscribe and get some awesome style tips. Normally I try to find tank tops that have thicker straps like this one, but this one is just showing another offender, which is the chunky knit. The chunky knit just adds weight to the breast area and just causes problems. You've got extra bulk and you've got that uniboob situation going on again that like I want the breasts to be lifted and separated. This is uniboob. I honestly was looking for like a cable knit but apparently I got rid of all of my cable knits because they add so much bulk and I live in Florida so I don't really wear sweaters a ton. This one's kind of thicker but it is a v-neck so I feel like this one works a little bit better but it's still like bulky. So, but it's a sweater and if it's cold enough outside, you know, you need a sweater. I'm not saying that you stop wearing sweaters altogether. I mean, that's crazy. Okay, here is an offender that I'm literally trying to get out of my wardrobe, but was and am wearing it right now as I'm editing this video. Uh, is basically an oversized t-shirt, you know, honestly, it's comfortable and, but it's just, it does really nothing for the boob situation. I mean, but are you gonna kick everything that doesn't look great on you out of your wardrobe? I don't know, I'm, it's up to you guys. Like, I'm giving you these tips, but you know, take it with a grain of salt because you do you, you know? If you're comfortable and you wanna rock something, please do rock it. Here I am rocking another like oversized shirt that I think I donated this shirt because it was just too big and just, I don't know. And I thought I was so cute when I was wearing it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it's just too much and it just adds bulk when you don't need to. Here is a recent offender. I just got this top, you know, and I just really need to stop buying stuff with ruffles. It just adds weight. And I do like the top. I mean, I don't really wear it like this. I normally just wear it like on my shoulders like this, kind of off the shoulders with a strapless bra. I think that's a little bit better. But in general, adding like girly ruffles to your tops and adding like bulk to your breasts, it just makes them look bigger. The next no-no is actually a statement necklace. And I used to love statement necklaces, but I've come to realize that they just don't work for big boobs. They kind of call attention, too much attention to the breast area and just kind of, I feel like a broken record here saying that they add bulk, but they do add bulk to your chest area. So if you're wearing them like on top of a top or on your, just on your chest, it's just, it's no good, no good. Another situation is when you're wearing like a large scarf. So putting the scarf like right over your breast area, kind of like in this circle scarf type way, actually kind of like adds bulk. I'm not saying you should like stop wearing scarves or anything. The best way to wear them is kind of the way I'm wearing it here, where it's kind of just like draped around. Obviously if it gets really cold outside, you know, you can bundle it close. I mean, being warm is more priority than adding bulk, like who cares? Like basically take this all with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, you know, I love this dress and I've worn it a ton to like very conservative events. I love it and even though it like causes some uniboob, I still think it's a great dress. So, you know, you do you. As I was going through my April Golightly blog, I actually found this photo and this is like what I would call like a bib top. It's kind of like a tunic, but it had a, has that bib detail. And I would say that this is not necessarily the best choice for having big boobs, you know, because it cause, calls attention specifically to the boob area. Um, it's just not that flattering and you know, it is what it is. Like, I've made my mistakes and I'm learning from them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. All of your awesome comments just make me feel so good. Um, and I just love you. And if anybody hasn't said anything to you today, you look fabulous, you're fantastic, you're amazing. Thank you.